Five million Texans rely on small businesses for a paycheck. Congress just poured more money back into federal programs to help those businesses stay afloat right now for things like the Paycheck Protection Program and forgivable SBA loans. Congresswoman Kay Granger is the most senior Republican woman in the U.S. House. She represents Fort Worth and Weatherford and joins us from D.C. Congresswoman, thank you for the time. We appreciate it. Let's, let's get right to this bill. Uh, will this be enough money, in your opinion, for all the small businesses that have applications pending? No, I don't think so. And, and that's unfortunate. The good part is it's so popular. The first round was so popular that a lot of people now understand how, how good it can be. We put in more money for more people. Uh, but we reached 1.6 million uh, small business owners before, so there's going to be a lot of help. I'm hoping that we can keep going on this because small business is so very important, uh, and it's so important that they keep their employees. So we're going to do this. We've been, done a big outreach so people will really understand that they can uh, keep their employees, if they keep their employees, that loan they got will be forgiven, which is pretty amazing. Yeah, you said keep going on this. Does that mean a, a third round potentially coming for uh, of aid for small businesses? You know, this, this situation is a crisis, and you know, of course it is. It's an economic crisis, and it's also a health public health crisis. And, and we'll have to see as the public health uh, works its way through but the small businesses, which is really where we're, what we're aimed at, uh, to keep them going, that's also a crisis. I, uh, I think that based on the popularity it was in the last round, which is $340 billion, this is $310 billion, we'll still have small businesses that will need help. Congresswoman, how likely might all this new money go? How likely will it be this is spent within a few weeks? Uh, I think it will go a long way in that, I, and I checked this before I came uh, and looked at this because we have people that applied the last time, didn't got, get chosen because the money ran out, so they're in line and should be taken first, really. And if we, if we aim it at small business that have to have this loan to stay open, and keep their employees. And I owned a small business myself for 20 years, and, and I spent a lot of time on this bill explaining that it's not you want just any employees, you want the employees that know your customers, and so that's very important. You know, I know it'll go a long way, $310 billion, uh, but we'll let, let's see because we have so many small businesses that need the help. Well, the fine print in the first CARES Act got a lot of small businesses upset because big businesses like Ruth's Chris Steakhouse and Potbelly Sam Sandwiches. These chains with access to the to the uh, capital markets, they got a cut of that uh, paycheck protection program. Is that fair? Uh, it was was not intended that way. Now remember, we were making decisions very fast. The Congress was making decisions very fast of how can we bring the help, and we wanted it small mom and pop businesses. I worked with one business in in Dallas, Texas, that, that um, a man and a woman who've owned their business for uh, nearly 50 years and got hit by that terrible storm in Dallas and then this and it was meant for the people like that. The money ran out before they got even though that they went through the process so they'll be in line to be helped but it was not intended for big companies. Some of those situations exist because it's a large overall company but they have different small businesses within it and it's alright for that but we should be very very careful uh, the bank should be held accountable for using this money as the Congress intended, and that's truly small businesses. All right, Congresswoman Kay Granger, we appreciate your time. Thank you.